Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be exploring my art style. So I'm going to be comparing my style from 2023 to my plans for 2024 and onward. So jumping right in, I am drawing the 2023 version of the art. I'm trying to capture the essence of what I was doing in 2023. And I'm just drawing my original character, Cora. So before completing the 2023 drawing, I wanted to include this clip of the way I used to draw eyes. And I'm also going to show you guys some other variations of ways I plan to draw eyes moving forward. So this version is just how I normally draw eyes, which is between a cartoony anime art style and a somewhat realistic art style. It's not too cartoony, right? I'm saying it looks more realistic because I would not consider consider this an anime eye. I just feel like an anime eye is going to be much bigger and also have a rounder shape. So wait till the last drawing because that one is actually an anime eye style. So you guys can see the difference between my art style and an anime art style. So the second eye looks very similar to the first one, but it just has a little bit more detail. And you can see that the details just add so much more to the eyes. Like it's so cute. Definitely moving forward, I'm gonna be adding a bit more lashes to my drawings because look how cute that looks. And for the third eye, this is just a very sexy looking eye. It's much more realistic. I think this one is actually the most realistic one, the one that looks more human than the rest of these drawings, only because it's smaller and the shape of the eye just resembles the actual human eye with very thick eyeliner. And here is that humongous anime eye style. So you can definitely see the difference between this big ol' eyeball and the top version. So yeah, that was my way of drawing in the anime art style. Those are just ways that I plan to move forward in my drawing and just have different variations. So continuing with the 2023 piece. The way I'm drawing the eyes right now, this is just my default way of drawing eyes. Literally, if I shut my brain off, this is just muscle memory. This is how I used to draw almost all of my drawings and my characters are definitely looking the same. So we're gonna move on to drawing her hair now and I'm just including a little clip of how I currently draw hair and my thought process behind it. So usually when I draw hair, I try to break it down into chunks. And then when I am breaking down the chunks, I have little hair that kind of like fly out of those bigger chunks just so the hair doesn't look so stiff. But yeah, when I draw hair, I try to still have it have some shape, but also just have those little pieces that come out of the chunks just so the hair doesn't look so stiff. This just makes it look super flowy and you know like hair and the main hair that used to be so difficult for me to draw is like curly hair because it was hard for me to break that into little tiny chunks and then make it look nice and flowy because I want to get the curls in but it I'm stiff so this method that I'm showing here where I still have the little tiny chunks but I'm still leaving little pieces that kind of like stick out like that just makes it look like it's not too uniform and it just looks a bit more relaxed and like hair and here is just a last example of how I'd break down the hair so just draw that little shape and have that little tiny piece of hair stick out it just it it just adds something. It's simple but it, it goes a long way. And here I am trying to force myself to revert back to my 2023 20, ways and it was so hard because I'm like I know how to not make the drawing look too stiff. But it was still really hard for me because I still ended up like adding a bit more detail than I used to add back in the day like literally a month ago. But yeah, I ended up making smaller sections and I even did my little flyaway pieces, which I really didn't used to do that much, but I didn't do it too much. So you can still see some of the stiffness and boxy look that I used to have. And I absolutely love the way I sketched her ears in this drawing. Not her little antenna, I could have done better, but her ears, like they look so cute and floppy. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> It's so random, but 
I was very proud of her ears. And I'm just using my Micron pen to ink the drawing. Back in the day, why do I keep saying back in the day like it wasn't like a month ago? Okay, a month ago, I mostly just inked all of my drawings using the black Micron pens. And here is the final results. This is what the line art looks like. I don't know why the skin portion of this video got so blurry, but it will change in just a few. Oh, there, we, there we go. Nice and crisp. But yeah, I'm sad that I didn't get the footage of the skin, but it's pretty much my regular skin um, coloring routine. Start out with the base tone, go in with the medium tone, add the blush, and continue shading and adding on to it. So now we're moving on to the hair. Honestly, with the hair, I don't see myself changing much of what I do unless I just figure out a better way of shading my character's hair, but I don't have any like solid plans of exactly what I want to change or add on to my coloring method, but yeah, this is just how I color the hair. I put down my base tone, medium tone, light tone, and that's it. Exactly what you see. I also don't currently have any plans on ways that I can improve the way I color my character's outfits besides just picking colors that work well together, figuring out a light source, and also maybe just experimenting with different textures of clothing, like maybe leather or fur. I definitely can't remember the last time I experimented with different type of fabrics, so that's definitely something I should try to incorporate into my art. But yeah, here is the final drawing of my 2023 art style. She's still cute, but we can definitely improve on her. All right, so now we are moving on to my 2024 art style, which is currently how I draw. The way I draw the eyes now is still pretty similar to the way I was drawing the eyes in 2023. It's just this eye version is a little bit different than what's on the 2023 side. It's just slightly bigger. Um, there's a little bit of white space at the bottom of the eyes. So you can see a little bit more of the whites of her eye. And um, there's just a bit more lashes. Most of the changes you'll see is the hair. The way I draw the hair, how looser and more fluffy it looks instead of this stiff, rigid look. And also the line art that's going to be a little bit more softer because it's not just going to be a black line art. It's going to be a colored line art but yeah you can definitely see how much more detailed and lighter the hair looks on the newer version hopefully you guys can tell the difference that would be really sad if you're like oh it looks the same <laughs> but I think it looks different it looks much better in my humble opinion and I'm just going to be using the micron pen in that sepia brown color and the Arteza um, fineliner pens to color the line art. And tell me why I forgot to draw Cora's um, antenna on her head. Like, I did not notice it until I was like completely done coloring, so I am distraught. I literally can't believe I did that. that <laughs> Oh my gosh, can we even call her Cora anymore without her antenna? Ugh. So this is what the line art looks like. It just looks a lot lighter than the black line art. I think honestly it comes down to preference. Some people might actually like the way the black line art looks like, but to me I prefer this one. I just think it works much better with my art style and the type of characters I draw. And when it comes down to the coloring process, I am pretty much just doing the same coloring process that I did on the first piece. So the only major difference is the line art and the hair and also the eyes, I guess, because the eyes, there's just a bit more white showing. And so it looks a lot brighter. Her eyes just look a bit more open. Like it's such a tiny little detail, literally just leaving a little bit of white underneath the eyes. Just look how different that makes the drawing look. 
So I decided to include the clips of me coloring the eyes. The first eye you guys are looking at me color right now is how I used to color it in 2023. And the second eye you'll see is how I plan to color the current drawings and the drawings in the future. So yeah, this drawing is just lined with a black ink. The black definitely makes everything look so bold and bright and just it still looks very pretty it just doesn't excite me anymore so i'm gonna show you guys how i'm going to color my future pieces with the second one you're seeing right now so with my future pieces i'm not going to rely solely on my black line art to color in the eyes i'm still using the black to outline the outside like her lashes and everything else but like the actual color of the eyes, instead of going around it with the black, I am using a darker color of whatever the eye color would be. Like in this instance, it's a darker pink color. It just gives it a much softer look. So now with the current drawing you're looking at, since her eyes are yellow, I decided to go in with that sepia brown color. If I was to redo it, I would probably go in with a much lighter brown color instead of that sepia um, color just to make the eyes look even lighter than they are right now and can I just say I absolutely love the way I colored the hair in today's video I've honestly never been super happy with the way I colored hair it's always just like meh like it's there it doesn't look too bad but her hair looks so good in the second drawing like like I just picked the right colors even with the the first drawing the hair looks really good but this one right here I like it a lot I definitely have to remember the color combo for her hair, especially that highlighter color. I think that's what's really the star of the show. And also for Cora's skin tone, I decided to go in with a much brighter pink color. And I think I'm actually really liking the, the brighter color instead of that almost flesh tone colors I used in the previous drawings for her. So this is pretty much it for today's video. Definitely let me know what your thoughts are about my new art style. And if you guys are planning on experimenting with your art styles, what are you planning on changing? And yeah. So I decided to have a more consistent uploading schedule and I think Sunday is going to be the best day for me. So in case throughout the weeks when I'm busy working, I will have the weekend to film and edit for you guys. So I will try and upload on Sundays. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.